the sky is falling in Pittsburgh, and that takes me. I don't want to talk about Pittsburgh, obviously. Yes. Uh, yes. What I want to talk about is Jeff Capel. What I want to talk about is Steve Wojciechowski going into the Dean Dome. I want to talk about the Coach K successor power rankings. Wow. You are the Coach K whisperer. Wow. You understand what this mm. man is thinking better than sometimes he even understands. <laughs> um, and, and Could you imagine if Coach K heard something? <laughs> his head would explode. I think he would kill me. Literally. <laughs> I think the last time the last time we the last time uh, we checked up on you with yes. your, with your Coach K successor power rankings. Correct me if I'm wrong. You said that Coach K was number one. Yes, so Coach yes, K, yes. He was number one on his own list. He was going to announce. He was I'm load managing yeah. for the future. Yes. He was going to call a press conference, say I'm stepping down. Yes, and my successor will be myself, yes. and then like give the suck it sign and say ten more years. It's like so the prestige, and he yeah, comes out as another yeah, double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so in light of Wojo, because I feel like if you're a Duke uh, fan, you have to say to yourself, one of the, one of the more attractive things you can have as a, as a per, per, uh, prospective coach at Duke is a guy who knows how to beat North Carolina. Steve Wojciechowski knows how to win the Dean Dome. He just proved it. Oh, man. Does that shoot him to the top of the rankings? Mm. Where does it stand? Give, give, give the people an idea. Yeah, so where we are in the Coach K successor power rankings right now as it stands, Wojciechowski goes into the Dean Dome. He, uh, he gets a phone call from K. And mm-hmm. I think that's, that's the first step, right? Communication. I think that line of communication need to be bridged. I think that, you know... Wojo's of the old ilk. You know, he's of the old guard. He's not Nolan Smith. He's not John Shire. Mm-hmm. You know, he's not the guys that are the young gunners that have kind of taken over who he and Chris Collins used to be, you know? So mm-hmm. he looks at Nate James and says, at least I'm not him, right? <laughs> you know, at least I'm not sitting there doing that. But at the end of the day, I want K. I want K to want me. And uh, I think this game, one, because Duke is trying to get back on the bubble. And Duke knows that the the game where they get officially back in the tournament is when they beat North Carolina, right? Yeah. So that is the game that Kay is, is preparing for. He is leading but himself. He's brooding right now as he waits. How does this help though? This weekend, this weekend's the win. So yes, no. Well, this right here was uh, just a phone call that he has with Wojo. Calls mm-hmm. him, checks in, sees how he is, and then he writes down. It's like uh, you know Steve Buscemi when he's in Billy Madison and he has his list. Yeah. You know what yep, I mean? Yep. This is Coach K, and he's like. Right now, he's going to mark out Wojo, and he's going to say, could have been him. I, I, this isn't yeah, what K wanted. No, this is this, this is, is not, not what he wanted. This is not what he wanted. Oh, he, so, he, yeah, he just, but he checked in, right? So he's, mm, he's okay. at least on the list. He's at least you know top of the mind right now. But Wojo, he's not the guy. That's not good. Okay. He's not the guy. All right. All right. Uh, What's happening at Pittsburgh is interesting, and here's why. In a good way? In a good way. Wait, what? Yes, exactly. So here we are. We have Pittsburgh, and we saw they beat Duke, you know, about a month ago. And yeah. I came on this program with, you know, Justin Champagne balling out. And I said to you, Mark Titus, Pitt looks like Duke basketball. That was the first time. That, it, it, correct me if I'm wrong. That Jeff Cable beat. Uh, that was the first instance of like a Coach a K. A former Coach K. K other yes, than Mike success, Bray. Yes, exactly. That was like the first guy other yes. than Mike Bray to beat Coach K. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So that happens. And we all say, wow. What's happening at Pittsburgh? You know, is the magic gone? You know, has the bag officially been removed from yeah. Coach K and Duke? And immediately after that, I mean, I think Pitt is one and nine. <laughs> so uh, everything changes, right? All of a sudden, right? Something clicks in, everything changes. And my big picture conspiracy theory in the Coach K successor power rankings is that. Coach K realized, one, yes, Coach K is number one. He is mm-hmm. still the number one successor. He is trying to load manage. But what does uh, you know, a number one need? He needs a strong number two. Mm-hmm. Dr. Evil, Dr. Evil taught us that. <laughs> you, know, you need a strong number two that's going to be there, and he had that with Capel. He doesn't have that now. Shire's not really a number two. Nolan Smith's not really a number two. Okay. Nate's not really a number two. Capel is a number two, but he only will be number two if he knows number one is waiting in the wins. So, what did Kay see? He saw a brand being built that he would like to see at Duke in maybe, you know, four years, this. three years, something this. like that. And he says, you can do it. I now see that you can do it. You have proved me wrong. I did not think you could do it. You went to Pitt. You proved me wrong. 
and now I want you to come back because I need recruits. If you look at Duke's commits, they have literally nobody in 2022. They have Paolo Bonchero. <laughs> who, you know, it's, I, like, I, it's like fourth in the country. <laughs> yeah, he's coming in next year though. So like they 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 are playing a they're they are pivoting to the future. Pittsburgh, yeah. if you look at their recruits, the whole point of Capo was to bring in top recruits. They have mm. nobody signed for 2021. Mm. They have nobody signed for 2022. Justin Champigny is going to be the only player of note that they really are going to have coming back. He's going to go to the NBA. The, the, this the cover, is the, the, the cover, saying, the cover no, is on. barren. Let me, let me connect these dots if, yes. if I'm hearing you yes. correctly. You're saying that the moment that Pittsburgh beat Duke, Coach K calls Capel and says sabotage that program because they are in the ACC. Mm -hmm. This is this is theoretically Pittsburgh is a program that Duke might he have said, to compete with in the future. He said pivot. That's what he told him. And he pivot. said sabotage the program, come back to Durham, be my number two for a few years, and then I'll hand the reins to you. Not even a few years. Come here. You will be my number two for one year. Wow. One year. Wow. That's not going to be the case, but you promise that. <laughs> you say that. You yeah, say that. You get him in you, the door. You come here for one year, and, then you and never... it's your program. And when you announce it, he's the head coach in waiting. And then, that, and that then is you the coach announcement. for 15 more years. <laughs> and, and, then you, and, then, and then you load manage for as long as you can if you're Coach K. But And and look, the, the real reason I say this, and you know, Coach K, we've talked about once he was Bob Knight, then he was Dean Smith, then he yeah. was Coach Calipari. His favorite iteration of himself, I believe – was the Dean Smith version. I yeah. think he liked being yeah. the Dean Smith, I am trying to bring a, a, a light to yeah. college basketball. And I think what he does by bringing Jeff Capel, Jeff Capel's dad is, you know, a, a legendary coach, uh, you know, all around the circles of North Carolina at HBCUs. And I think this is a play, if you're Coach K, what Dean Smith always wanted, for people that don't know this, he wanted Phil Ford to be the head coach in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. His goal was to have Phil Ford be the first black head coach at North Carolina, the first black head coach on Tobacco Road. Mm -hmm. And that was his grand vision. And I think Coach K with Capel can give him mm. that, that dream. He can have that dream realized to have a black head coach at Duke and have him be the face of Duke basketball and take over for Coach K. And I think at the end of the day, if you were to tell Capel that he would get this opportunity, I mean, it, it's it's. I think it would be mind blowing. If you told me in 2005, I'd be like, the Appalachian State coach is going to be coaching Duke. What? Yeah. That makes no sense. But then you think about the larger context of it all. Nike and the brand that has to be in play for Duke. Capel knows that better than K, right? We know that. So I think you're, I think you're actually on the side. Not the whole. I don't. I don't know about the sabotaging, but you know, maybe. But but but. Branding wise, what what jersey did Tupac wear? Great point, Jeff Great Capel. Point. Why not Tommy Amaker? Why not Johnny Dark? Are they both out? Would you say Tommy Amaker is also a dark horse? Is, are they both too old? Is it, is, has the window come and gone for those two? Do you think? I think that Tommy Amaker is the one that if it's not Capel, if Capel is too high, is too high risk because of the things that we mentioned about the you know potential brand and bag and all those types of things. Yeah. If you want to just have that moment where it's like a crystallizing, like of of course, you know, yeah. Tommy Amaker would be the one that like if you told our dads. That that's who Coach K picked. They're like, of course, of course, yeah, it yeah. was always gonna be him. I knew that. that, that, I knew that, that, that back in, yeah, yeah, I knew that when he committed in '84. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like he was gonna be the guy. So, and Tommy Amaker's not coaching this year. He could easily be in Durham. He I'm not be. sure. No one um, knows. This is all speculation. No Again, knows. this is huge conspiracy <laughs> here. This is all speculation. Uh, this is all speculation. This is all for fun. This is all speculation. I heard his wife was looking for houses. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Amaker's on the list. Dawkins, I think, is out at this point. Um, I think Dawkins is out too. And I think by his choice. Not to say that K wouldn't consider him, but I think he. He was like, I don't want, I don't want that. He's like, I thought I wanted it, but like, yeah, it's nah. too much. That's yeah. too much. Amaker wants who, it. Who would be the guy uh, if if Duke was to go the route of, uh, say, with Jawan Howard at Michigan and mm. Penny Hardaway and Patrick Ewing, where you're just like, get this big splashy name. Um, it's and those three guys have had various levels of success. I think at this point, Jawan Howard is pretty clearly yes. has been the best, but yes. it's still early. A lot of things can, but and you know, at the same time, come on. Um, so if Duke was to say like that seems to be working, let's do it. Mm. Let's do what Michigan do with Juwan Howard. Who would be the guy? Grant Hill? Like uh, just just assuming like everybody wants to coach. Who yeah. is like that brand name that Duke could bring? Would it be Grant Hill? No, Cherokee Parks. I think is, <laughs> I think is the Josh name. Josh McRoberts. Uh, yeah, no, it definitely would be Grant Hill. I mean, Bobby Hurley Grant would probably Hill, be yeah. the one. Bobby Hurley would be up yeah, there. That would be. But I don't I don't think Hurley is even but like Leitner in, in is his number two. By the way, I will say this: uh, Christian Leitner, in real life, I had to talk to him. <laughs> 
Very cool. I had to talk to. Her. I like how you said that. Very cool. Like I, I, it made me upset. Yeah. I was very shocked by it. I was like, I had no idea Christian Leitner would be this like laid back and chill. Well, in the off season, but, uh, he in was. the off season, maybe we'll do a actually kind of cool Duke power rankings. Still hate him. <laughs> yeah. Still hate him. But from, from Tate. I will um, say number one hated uh, update on my list. Still Lee Melchioni, number one Duke hated player in my life. <laughs> Number two, Pocious, right behind him. <laughs> Lee Melchioni. Lee Melchioni, number one. I mean, one. I remember Lee Melchioni. I oh, understand. I, it hated makes sense him. why you would hate him, but he number him. one. Hated him. Oh Still hate God. him to this day. Oh, my God. I told Ryan Kelly that one time. What? Uh, what what's the... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? You're talking to a lot of dude guys. Uh, Got to check in. What about the What about the Roy? If, if it's time to hit the panic button, what are you doing with Roy? <laughs> what's the plan? Hubert Davis? No. That's Sean one of the May? talent evaluators I was talking Sean about May? before. And, uh, I mean, like, what, what's the George Carl? What's he up to? Honestly, I this is probably like if if I had to pick someone currently on the staff, I mean, it would be like a Steve Robinson, Bill Guthridge type situation. Yeah. Like I would just like pass it over to him for two or three years yeah. to let Steve Robinson yeah. have it, and also black head coach for North Carolina. That would be cool. Yeah. Um, or Kendall Marshall, like long term. <laughs> I mean. Like like twenty years from now, like 20, Kendall Marshall. I'm saying, yeah, 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 like a five year window though. Yeah, a five like year window, maybe Wes Miller. Like I think we're at the yeah, point where we time. we call Wes Miller and it's we just time. we just see what's going on because, yeah. like I said, I know what North Carolina basketball is. I know Roy Williams does. I know people do like these Danny. Kids. Do these kids? I think they do. I just think that they. they it just it's not the same, Titus. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's, it's changed. Not, well, that's why we're opting it's out changed. of the season. We're done. I blame the G League. <laughs> Hey there, thanks for watching Titus and Tate. For the full friend of the program experience, subscribe right below and come join us for all things college basketball. The action is heating up. Come join Titus and Tate.